the rat race. You'll hear that referred to as you get older, don't get caught in the rat race. The rat race is you're running, working hard to get ahead, only to find out you're going in a vicious circle of working hard, and then the extra money you get from working, you spend either frivolously or without intention. So even though you are moving harder, working harder, you're not getting ahead. You're staying in the same place. One of the most frustrating things in life is feel like you're not moving forward. Feel like you're stuck, like you're trapped. The light bulb comes on through knowledge, through awareness. I would say awareness more than knowledge because for a lot of life, believe it or not, you don't have to be that intelligent, okay? Really what you have to be is aware, diligent, consistent, and avoid drama. Good to see you, uh, Team Vasectomy goes, Platuas suck. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? But I fell into the rat race. I uh, worked hard, did the best I could, but I spent... I spent without paying diligent, consistent attention. Like many people say, oh, I've been eating salads for three, four weeks. I don't feel like I've lost weight. They sometimes they'll forget to acknowledge that they have Taco Tuesday or they have a cheat day on Sunday. One cheat day per week can destroy your diet, can destroy your goals. Goals are your compass. And when you get frustrated with your weight, what you end up doing is saying, fuck it. If I'm going to be a fat bastard, then order another huh, order another 12-piece fried chicken, please, with a double order of fries, mozzarella sticks, and we're going to car rally get chocolate chip and ice cream with extra chocolate sprinkles. That's what I did. I was obese for many years. Tony, good to see you, brother. Shout out to Canada. Hello, TV Sam. We're YouTube famous, guys. We're going forward. Okay, we're almost close to 12,000 subscribers. I appreciate all my members. Team Vasectomy. Plateaus is where you're stuck in one spot. Okay, I didn't know that. Not progressing or regressing. It's pronounced a plateau. Okay, thank you for that information. Yeah, in life, look, there's two mindsets. I, I shared it earlier in my morning video. There's two mindsets that you'll meet in life. One is, there's a certain group of people that have the mindset of, you know what, I just want to get by. Uh, I want to make ends meet. Meaning that they're willing to do something usually, or they have some income from some type of source, and they have just enough to cover their bills, and they're happy with that. They're content. Now, an emergency usually screws the, these people. Because in reality... Even if you have the mindset of, I just want to get by, eventually you need a new car. Uh, eventually you may have to take time off of work or eventually you may not get a stimulus or something happens in life. You know, you have to renew your prescription um, eyeglasses and, you know, like in your budget, a lot of people don't, you know, like I bought, um, I, I have contacts. I bought eye uh, contact solution and baby powder and lotion the other day. Uh, and I walked out of Walmart, spent $28. I said, man, I said, you know, most people don't even account for that. You know, you look at our, what's my car bill? What's my insurance? It's the little things that get you. And when you're living just to get by, and when you're living just to get by, eventually that can come and bite you because you're not in a surplus. What's a surplus? A surplus is you're living to get ahead. You're consciously aware, aware of your monthly budget, you're diligent and consistent in tracking it and trying to create create a greater surplus. You're trying to not only cut expenses, but increase income. I watched a YouTuber the other day talking about money she saves living in a car. You can't save your way to get ahead. You know, it's great to save money. I like to save money. I'm a cheap bastard. But you have to increase your income a little bit too. There's there's basically, look guys, to get ahead is very simple. 
You got to have more income than expenses. That's a surplus of extra money. Whether you put that extra money in savings and investment, or if you buy extra baby oil, okay? And you lube yourself up. You say, I got a surplus of baby oil. Tony says, we need that baby oil when we make sweat love to the sock. Sweet love to the sock. Well, that's true. I got caught up today because I was in a corner of a parking lot and I saw, I was watching some good porn uh, and I was ready to handle my business. Uh, but then all of a sudden, uh, the parking lot got crowded. So I had to keep it moving. I'm a little bit backed up right now. Some people say, oh, that's very offensive. I don't want to hear that. Well, that's why you've committed adultery or that's why you're sleeping in separate rooms or that's why you're just like a dried up uh, potato because you don't understand the value of uh, relieving yourself, whether you're a man or a female, okay? Why? You have natural occurring juices in your body, okay? Whether you're a male or female. And what I can tell you is if you don't extract those juices and uh, basically relieve yourself, what you're going to do is be a complete psychopath. Okay. And you damn sure ain't going to get ahead when you're backed up making irrational decisions. I saw someone called Dave Ramsey today. Dave Ramsey is like the king of getting people ahead. He helped me a little bit. And it was this guy. He was young, naive, and following his uh, penis. He goes, oh, I met this girl. Been dating her for two months. I moved to a new town for her. I wanted to get married. And he was talking about changing his whole life. And uh, the girl wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And he had no plan, though. And it was like, he's going to destroy his life. He's going to destroy his life all because he didn't masturbate. And I got a lot of hardworking women out there. I think of uh, NVRV, now known as ESP. She was married. Her husband passed away, RIP. But I think she knows that she don't need a man. I preach singleness. One is, guys, that's an automatic stimulus. Singleness is a stimulus, okay? You don't have to share the money back. Because, guys, if you're making $2,000 a month and you're single, that's $2,000 a month. If you're in a relationship, especially married, you might as well divide that in two or three. You can only divide so much before you end up at zero or negative. Every relationship is added cost. How do you get ahead? Limit the relationships. When a company, whether a big corporation or a small restaurant, when they're not getting ahead financially, the first thing they do is cut headcount. They lay off people. I tell you, take an inventory of your life. Who's a lazy ass person in your life? Like, you know, guys, when... An employer looks to lay off people. They go to the laziest, most unproductive people first. Not rocket science. Okay. So you, as the CEO of your life, you try to get ahead. You should look at all the psychopaths in your life. And you say, who's the most laziest, unproductive? And then you should start laying people off, changing your number, not giving to them. Now, some of you people led slot if they're good looking. Or if they, they romance you. Or if they're tall with a nice ass. If they fix your ceiling fan. No, no, no. Because, guys, you can't get ahead if you're in a toxic relationship. I think of keeping up with Bree. A young woman going to nursing school or trying to. She got no kids. She got her whole life ahead of her in her, in her 20s. One toxic relationship, she'll never get ahead. She gets involved with a married man. She destroys her life. She's chasing him. She can't help it, but emotionally she's destroyed. Then she gets to her late 30s. She wants kids. She's been dating this dysfunctional guy for so many years. Now she feels like she doesn't deserve love. Now she destroys her life. In her 40s, eventually she'll marry some nice guy, but it's too late. You know, guys, you can get so far behind the eight ball, you can't get ahead. I've had some great, honest people comment on my channel. They say, Sam, what you're preaching is the truth. Not many people want to hear it, but I can tell you this. I'm old now. I'll never get ahead. But the younger and middle-aged people would be wise to listen to some of what you have to say. Toxic relationships, children, pets, lack of working, laziness, all things that either add expenses or decrease income. Is life all about money? No, but guys, if you're in a toxic relationship, that's not nothing to do with money. It's going gonna, it's gonna to F your money up. But you damn sure aren't going to get ahead emotionally. You're not going to get ahead emotionally. 
You think you're going to get ahead emotionally with toxic people? Impossible. You're going to be an emotional train wreck. Let's take a hydration break. Don't go back to all our comments. Shout to Tony Team Bisectomy in the members only chat. Love to you. I thought of my man NY Cam asked me last night. Says, Sam, how what certifications do I need to start in the IT industry? Again, IT stands for information technology. I said, don't worry about any certifications. Just start working immediately and show up straight for a year. I want you to go to Indeed.com and Google knock shift engineer. Knock shift third shift. Knock engineer third shift. Just be a basic knock, knock member. Where all you pretty much do is rack and stack equipment. Run some cables, fiber cables or coax cables. And learn the ins and outs of a data center or, or IT company. You know, because if if you don't already have certain certifications, don't worry about getting them. Get work experience. You're never going to get ahead going back to school. You get ahead by showing up every day to your job consistently and then precisely adding certain certifications based on leveraging your work experience. Especially with the coronavirus and with technology, in many instances, for the vast majority of people, degrees have become the same thing as toilet paper. Okay, And almost toilet paper has more value in the apocalypse than your degree. So guys, be very careful. When the coronavirus hit, were people looking for employees with degrees or toilet paper? There was over 40 million Americans laid off. They weren't looking for certifications. And there was no toilet paper to be found. I did a video from Florida of empty shelves. That's why you can't just live to get by. Because when an emergency hit, housing crisis, coronavirus crisis. You know, now, if you get laid off and you haven't been getting ahead, now you're screwed. Your emergency fund is when you're living a lifestyle of getting ahead. When you're in shape and you got good eating habits, if you have one bad night or, or a bad summer having to come back up to New Jersey and the gyms aren't open, then your habits will come back to you when you go back down to Florida because you got that muscle memory. I'm going to be getting back in shape. I can't wait for it. Tony, uh, oh, I got to go back. Team bisectomy. Then we're going, Tony. Team bisectomy. We did Dave Ramsey training at my old church. He suggested that it is better to be debt-free with no emergency fund than having an emergency fund with debt. I highly disagree with him. Me too. Uh, I think he preaches a lot of wisdom. But to me, if you don't have an emergency fund and you have an emergency, what are you going to do? You have to go to family members, your church members, uh, or you're going to have to give a blowjob. Uh, do I want to do any of those things? No. So get your emergency fund before you do anything else. Pay bare minimum on debt. Tony, Sam, with all the coffee shops being closed since March... Where have you been doing your work? Uh, in my vehicle, mainly, uh, I've, I've been tethering the Wi-Fi from my phone, uh, going to Starbucks drive through get my coffee, and then I go to a beach park or some type of public park. I tether the Wi-Fi off my phone, and then I use my laptop. So that's been a blessing. I have unlimited uh, Wi-Fi on my phone. Team Bisectomy, $2 Super Chat. Unless you're studying STEM, college useless. I won't say college or, or certifications are totally useless, but to Team Vasectomy's point, unless you're going for focused, what's the difference between a laser and a light? Focus. What's the difference between a laser and a light? Focus. Unless you're going for a focused skill set, don't go adding certifications. Why? You're, you're going in debt or you're spending money. The only reason you should spend money on certifications is if you know you're going to get a return. And if you haven't worked, no one wants to hire you. If I'm going to hire you, I look at your work experience first and your education second. And if you don't have a consistent track record of being with one company for at least a couple years, I look at you as riskier. That's true. There's many people that jump from job to job. They're young now, but they're going to suffer when they're older. Because as you get older, you get less employable. And then you're a psychopath waiting for the second stimulus and you're fucked up. I want to speak to my younger and middle-aged people and my older people that I love, and I'll sing the Ed Sherman, even if your knees buckle, song to you, but I won't mean it, 
Just like Ed Sherman. Like Ed Sherman did that song, like if your knees get old, I, he, I, I never saw him in a nursing home. I delivered DoorDash to a nursing home. I didn't see Ed Sherman. I saw a daughter call me on the phone and say, look, can you drop this food off to my mom? Because I can't talk to her. She talks too long. <laughs> what I could tell you is this, guys. I love you if you're old and if you're waiting for that second stimulus. But I'll tell you this. Get your money back right when you're young and middle-aged. ESP. Shout out to ESP, hardworking woman. I always tell ESP. I'm not going to say her government name, but I'm going to say ESP, a.k.a. MBRV. The only thing that's going to screw up her life is a tall guy with a nice ass. Why? Because she's going to be backed up. She hasn't masturbated. She hasn't gotten the vibrating dildo I've been recommending on Amazon.com. Not that I have one particular, but I want my middle-aged females out there to still have an orgasm. You say, Sam, that's so funny. I'm dead serious. You can't get ahead when you're backed up. When you're backed up, whether a male or female, and you're hormonal, you make bad decisions. Okay. And one moment of temptation can destroy your life. You know, your MVRV, she got a budget. I guarantee you she got a spreadsheet on standby. She's got it saved on her PC. She got it saved in the cloud. She's got a specific budget. So MVRV, she's so focused. She's, she not, she's not a regular light. She's a laser. She's focused. But what she denied was her own self-pleasuring. Okay. And so she's in Alaska freezing her ass off. All of a sudden, here comes Nate. Nate from Element Van Life, he makes the special appearance that we've all been waiting for in Alaska. Okay? He always wanted to visit. He's got his drone. His girlfriend's got to go to the laundromat. And now it's his fiance. So in wandering around with his drone, because he's basically unemployed, counting on ad sense revenue. So he's got his drone. He's pandering to all the, the, the women who still believe in the movie The Notebook and Ed Sherman. <laughs> I never saw Ed Sherman in a senior citizen home. I volunteered with the elderly, and I tell you, I never saw Ed Sherman there. I never saw him. Your knees will buckle. He'll abandon you. Ed Sherman will abandon you as soon as your knees buckle. Never forget it. So <laughs> ESP has got this spreadsheet. She's focused, okay, but she not, she's not taking care of herself well. And all of a sudden, here comes Nate skipping around Alaska. And I don't even know how big Alaska is, but in my mind, I don't know what the hell's going on over there. And the smartest woman you ever met, ESP, very smart woman. But humans are two things, logical and emotional. So you can have the most logical person get seduced emotionally. You say, Donald Trump's the smartest guy I ever met. He's been divorced three times. You say, Jennifer Lopez, so empathetic, I love her. She's been divorced three times. Emotion will destroy your life. Yeah. You say, I still, been, I still believe in love. I've been divorced three times. Well, I say, I still believe in a balance sheet. How are you doing financially? Are you getting ahead? Or are you watching the Lifetime channel to make you have a little bit of hope? I tell you, I got to speak the truth. All of my people out there that have been through it, that even though you say, look, I don't, it's the truth. I don't like it. I don't want to hear it. It's truth. ESP says, agree with you, Sam. Have an emergency fund. Yes. Before you pay off credit cards. Totally agree with that. She got the spreadsheet. You can't eat a statement that says paid in full. Amen. And you can't go seeking pleasure from someone else. Physical pleasure will make you avoid or make you forget logic. Physical pleasure is a drug. Sexual hormones are a drug. They're the same thing to the mind as cocaine. There's some people addicted to sex. I had a tall blonde woman. Shout to Sarah. I think she was a woman. She was from California. Maybe a dude. I think it's a woman. And she was told me, she said, Sam, I'm addicted to sex. I said, well, hey. What should, he, she asked me, what should I do? I said, well, take a screenshot of me and masturbate twice a day. Because I guarantee you, after you masturbate twice a day, you're not going to make an irrational decision. Why? Because you flushed your reproductive system. Your body is made of systems. Respiratory system, reproductive system, digestive system. Your digestive system flushes through a number two, a.k.a. a dookie. Your reproductive system flushes two ways. One is masturbation. Two is sex. Three is 
you watch the Hallmark Channel with excessive chocolate. You got options. Or option four is team, but you go to DR and you do prostitution and you got to be careful. We're getting off track, but guys, this is how you, I, I, I know a guy, guy, this guy's smart guy, hardworking guy, just got through a divorce, okay, and he's still trying to get all the paperwork settled. I asked him today, he's already with another chick, okay, I asked him today, I said, let me ask you that, now he could barely talk because she's in the background, man, this guy's already living with her, okay, and, and he's, the divorce just got done, I love this guy, good guy. Hardworking guy, you'd hire him. I know this guy's one of the best, smartest workers you ever met in your life. I would hire him five times. You say, Sam, a guy that's smart and he's making good money, he's definitely getting ahead. No, he's not. Why? He's been divorced once. He's still trying to sell it. And now he's back in a relationship with three other kids. Not his. He got a bisectomy. But her kids. Is he ever going to get ahead? No, probably not. <laughs> Is he happy? Maybe. I don't think you would be happy living my life. But I want to show you guys the rat race and, and sex and the opposite sex, whether you're a man or female. ESP is a female. You think Nate won't seduce her and screw up her life? Yeah. If she's not masturbating. You can't put masturbation on a spreadsheet, but you should. I remember, guys... I am consistent in my message. I told my pastors I wanted to do a sermon on masturbation. They looked at me crazy. I said, I got to leave the church and start a YouTube channel. People need to hear this message. Okay. It'll save your life. It'll help you get ahead. You're never going to get ahead until you address lust. We address greed all the time. We say that greedy bastard. We say Donald Trump, he loves the stock market more than he loves people. Well, guys... You love the idea of love more than you love reality. I want to save your life, change your life, help you get ahead. Let's go back to live comments. Let me take a hydration break, guys, because I'm juiced up and I didn't get a chance to masturbate, so I'm backed up. That's true. <sighs> Sweat my ass off. I'll tell you, wait till I get back down to Florida. I'm getting in shape big time. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the live comments. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, ESP knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, she said you can't, you can't, you, she basically said you can't mask, you can't ask for help from a paid in full statement. I agree with that. Team vasectomy, uh, experience is greater than education. I agree with that. In many job openings, they say, we would like you to have this certification or equivalent work experience. Shout out to you, surfing minimalist. I'll see you. We're going to get to all live comments. Guys and girls, look at the job opening posting. The answer key is in the job opening. So you say, Sam, I want to get in the IT industry. What should I do? Go to Indeed.com. Google IT jobs wherever you are, whether Alaska or Idaho. And then look at the job description. They'll tell you what they want. They want someone that knows Azure. They want someone that knows how to rack and stack servers. They want someone that knows whatever. And that's what you need to focus on. But get your foot in the door. Get your foot in the door. You can't get ahead if your foot's not in the door. Guys, every employee, employer wants two things. Someone who shows up consistently and someone who doesn't cause a problem. By default, you will get ahead. Let's go back to live comments. Uh, team vasectomy. Uh, I thought Ed Sherman was an NFL player for the 85 Bears. He may have been. There's a couple Ed Shermans. Uh, there was the one Sherman from the Seattle Seahawks that, remember after the uh, playoff game, he got all excited with uh, the girl. Look at the girl. Who was the female ESPN reporter that a guy was stalking her and took naked pictures of her? Then she went to Dancing with the Stars. She, oh, guys, look that name up. Here a guy had a job. I think he was the camera guy for ESPN, okay? And he stalked this one ESPN news reporter, went to her hotel room, put video camera, and he got pictures of her nude. He destroyed his career for a lack of, he should have just masturbated. Now, 
Not only is he not getting ahead, he's getting locked up. So, guys, we got to be very careful. Uh, Tony, clean the pipes or else you're going to be walking around with a loaded gun. Someone in the live chat, members only live chat, whether you're ESP, Team Busectomy, a Surfing Minimalist, or Tony, put a gun emoji. I'm nonviolence, but this gun is an analogy for the penis or the vagina. Some of you girls got a big vagina, and I like the big vagina. And what I could tell you is, I know you don't want to hear this, it's abrasive, but you got to lube yourself up. If your NVRV needs an oil change every 7,000 miles, you think your vagina doesn't? Huh. You think your vagina doesn't need synthetic oil? <laughs> Guys, you need to change your oil. You need to change your filter. Okay? I try to, I try to tell you guys how to get ahead, but I know you don't want to listen. All right. We'll keep lying to ourselves, looking at van build outs, but you'll never get ahead that way. Uh, let's continue to live comments. Uh, ESP laughing. Oh, my. I walked into the wrong chat. See? You're not changing your oil. Don't worry. No Nate is going to mess up my budget. You're damn right. Because ESP has been through the wars. She's been married. And again, RIP to her, her late husband. No disrespect. But guys, relationships will take a toll on you. Financially and emotionally. You want to get ahead emotionally? You want to get ahead emotionally? Hmm. I don't know, man. Be careful. Uh, ESP. Not that I'm judging Nate. Now, I don't judge Nate, but every time I watch his video, I said, this motherfucker going to suffer in about 10 years. He's going to be suffering his ass off. That's what I say. But I seriously doubt he was able to finance his van without a cosigner. Yep. 100 degree emoji. Uh, ESP. Me and you on the same page. Team Vasectomy. Sam. Did the last woman you live with leave strains of hair all over your house? That's my number one pet peeve. Yeah, but I'm sure, you know, I got my pet peeves too. You know, you probably left some dookie stains in the toilet bowl, some urine on the side of the toilet. So I'm very fair. Women have their, uh, like, pet peeve things that they do to frustrate a man and man, men have things that frustrate a woman. So, and I tell you guys, if you want to get laid and a girl comes to your house, you better have a clean toilet. That's all they care about. They care about your bathroom. Uh, but what I can tell you guys is, uh, I don't want to get laid. Why I get laid every day. Why? Cause I masturbate and I get ahead financially and emotionally. Cause I'm not tied up in no drama. You know, guys, I worry about Nate. Every time I see Nate upload a video, I say, oh, see, here's the end. And I'm just waiting for drama. Bob Wells living the dream. Okay, he got a nonprofit. He got a book club. He making $100,000 a year. And guys, all he doing is building band for broke people. But why is he rich? Because he got divorced and he never got remarried. You say, Sam, maybe he's banging his secretary. I don't know that. Maybe, but he's not married. Is Bob Wells masturbating in his van? I think so. You think Bob Wells don't masturbate? Guys, what type of world are you living in? <laughs> you think Bob Wells doesn't get in back of that Chevy van and put on YouTube porn or whatever porn? And he's probably, you know, he's got, maybe he's got a foot fetish. Maybe a stepdaughter fetish. Maybe a desert fetish. Guys, everyone has vices in their life that can not only mess up their money, but set them back. You ain't going to get ahead. You got, you got serious addictions. My man Milano and Emilio, he said, Sam, don't forget people with addictions. They struggle to get ahead. That's true. But don't just forget. There's not just food addiction. There's sex addiction. Okay. A lot of you, butt ugly, uh, guys or girls, just because you're ugly doesn't mean you're sexual. You've tried to get with me. And I've denied you and you've been hurt. And that's why you come down and thumbs down. You'd be surprised. Like you automatically think the thumbs down come from some like young kid in his mom's basement. A lot of them are butt ugly chicks that wanted to get with me. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yep. And guys, you never seen a woman scorn until you blocked her from YouTube. In the background, R. Kelly's playing when a woman's fed up. When, when a troll's fed up. And you block them and they know they can't get with you. You ain't doing a meet and greet. Oh, you haven't seen Hell's Fury. I'm over here trying to get ahead on my side hustle on YouTube. Doing the best I can. And all the trolls try to bring you down. But it's not because they're all psychotic. Some of them just butt ugly. And you're the only attention they've gotten in years. And now 
They've built up this fantasy in your life like you're going to come pick them up at their house and we're going to be doing like like Nate from Element Van Life. Guys, I still, when I see, I love Nate. When I see his videos, I see his girl on the side. She look, she look like she can get psychotic, okay? She got that look like this. And I see that look. I said, I know that look. <laughs> that look is, I could go crazy quick, okay? And what I tell you, I seen that look, okay? <laughs> and you, you definitely ain't getting ahead. You ain't getting ahead when someone got that look, okay? Because, guys, you're getting ready to go through major catastrophe financially and emotionally. I got to take a hydration break. We'll get old live comments. It's getting hot in here tonight. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I got rolled down my windows too. It's, it's a disaster. Oh, you guys get me all upset. Click that thumbs up. Thank you to all my members. We'll go back to live comments. Um, uh, ESP. Oh yeah, not that I'm judging Nate, but I seriously doubt his... Oh yeah, we read that. Uh, team Vasectomy. Oh, I read that. Uh, surfing minimalist, very little you can't do with a pile of cash and good health. Excellent comment. Look, your health physically, mentally, and emotionally are key, period. Excellent comment, surfing minimalist. That's the center of everything. After that, you got to have money. Okay. How do you get ahead? Your income is higher then your expenses. I don't care if you work a job. I don't care if you're an independent contractor. I don't care if you're on social security or disability. You got a certain amount of income. You either have to increase your income or you have to decrease your expenses to create a surplus of getting ahead. If you're just getting by, eventually a layoff comes. Eventually an emergency comes. And then that's how you get behind. There's two mindsets, those who want to just get by and those who want to get ahead. You have to get ahead because there's going to be an emergency, and then if you haven't been getting ahead, you're going to get left behind. Now, we need God's grace. We need help along the way, but we have to also do some work. Okay, good job. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Tony, I started yelling, I'll praise the Lord at the moment I flush out. I'm not mad at that. Thanks for the tip, Sam. I used to feel bad about masturbating. I used to think it was a mortal sin. I remember asking God, I read the scripture that Jesus said, even if you lust with your good eye, cut it out. And there was an R&B singer who did that in the 90s. That's blasphemy. If your body is the holy temple of God, one is you shouldn't be mutating it. Two is gluttony is a sin. What is gluttony? Being overweight. If, if masturbation is a sin, then all the fat people, I saw a fat pastor this weekend. Uh, what's that guy, Tom Hagen, all those fat pastors, even T.D. Jakes, he overweight. They're committing sin, they're gluttons. I don't know too many in shape people that are in a church, and if they are, they're committing adultery, I've seen that. Guys, we're all sinners. So we already know we're saved by the grace of God, okay? But guys... Beyond religion, because I think some of religion is man-made institution to control people, period. Doesn't matter what religion, Muslim, Jewish, uh, Christian, you name it. I think faith is good. I think religion is somewhat man. Why was there no women that wrote books in the Bible? Because they weren't allowed to write books. Slavery was permitted. Uh, you know, so guys, we can have our own critical thought. We can say this part of the Bible I agree with, this part I don't. And if you can't, then you might as well be a robot because you have no critical thinking. You know, then you might as well just do what everyone says. Do this, do that, and not, not even question it. Some people wanted that. Again, that's why they instituted it, to control people. Somewhat it's true. Masturbation is good because it's part of the human reproductive system. What's better, to burn with lust or to masturbate? Guys, masturbation is not burning with lust. It's relieving yourself. It's not committing adultery. In my opinion, I got my man internally inspired. He believes in no fab. I don't believe if that. I don't know if there's no masturbation or no porn. But I tell you right now, when I watch his videos, sometimes I think they're good videos. But I think he hasn't masturbated in a while because he's too much philosophy. When you're when you're overanalyzing life, I can tell it's a pure sign you haven't masturbated. 
And I could tell you about to ramble about some crazy shit because you got all this going on in your mind. You're not relieved. You got to be at peace, guys. This is my opinion. All right, let's continue. Oh, yeah. Aaron Andrews. Good job, team bisectomy. That's the girl. Aaron Andrews. I looked up uh, her nude pictures and, and I masturbated to them. That's true. Uh, but I, I would never be the one to take them. Tony, clean the pipes daily for proper maintenance. 100 emoji. It's like saying, I'm not going to flush my toilet bowl because I'm too cheap to pay for the water bill. Now, I know some psychopaths, including in my own family, they used to avoid flushing the toilet. They thought it was a sin because they have to pay too much money. So what happened is now you got a dookie stained, backed up toilet bowl. Smell like dookie. Whole house smell like shit. Because it's not functioning. If you have a penis, if you have a vagina, it has to function. Okay. If not, why do you have it? And you damn sure shouldn't be having kids. You shouldn't be getting married. You should be doing. They don't say like, they'll tell the part about Jesus where he says, even if your eye causes you to lust, gouge it out, but they'll never say the part where Jesus said it's better to be single, but not many people can handle this. They won't say people pick and choose. So what do I do? I pick and choose. I think for myself, never forget it. Uh, Tony, Sam's last milf used, oh, to leave Hello Kitty panties all around the counter. Well, I used to request that. I have a little bit of a panty fetish. And I remember asking one time for panties, lightly scented. And yeah, I do like panty porn. Uh, that's true. I like a good pair of panties. It works me up. That's true. Uh, sometimes I say, leave the panties on. Uh, we're, about to, we're about to put on silk. Freaking you. I'm about to freak you up and down. Yeah, I'm about to do that. Uh, ESP. Bob Wells, yeah. Used to work at the grocery store, shopped at Stop and Sam. Well, he's from Alaska. Bob Wells from Alaska, so is ESP. Let's continue. Sam laughing. It's like thinking of <laughs> Santa <laughs> when Mrs. Claus, that's true. Yo, Bob Wells is a legend in, in Alaska, guys. Like, I tell people about Bob Wells. They don't know who the fuck I'm talking about. Who the fuck is Bob Wells, man? <laughs> but in Alaska, it's like it's like saying Sarah Palin. Bob Wells, big time. You know, like, most people don't know who the hell Bob Wells is. You know, so... Nice guy. He's been divorced, though. Bob Wells got divorced. That's how he started living in his van. You guys didn't do the research. Bob Wells didn't start living in his van because he's a minimalist. He started living in his van because he had a kid. He got divorced. He was dead broke. And he said, I got no other choice. And then he found out he liked it. Now, God forbid, I may hate to say it, his son committed suicide. And he moved on with his life. But, guys... Bob Wells would not be making videos if they weren't monetized. Bob Wells is getting ahead because he's got a good monetized YouTube channel. He sells books uh, and, and he gets paid from his nonprofit organization. Bob Wells is a capitalist and I'm not mad at him. He provides a service. I'm just trying to tell you all you people that aren't working, if you think you're going to be living the glorious life of Bob Wells, remember Bob Wells paid. Okay, Bob Wells not broke. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's continue. Uh, team vasectomy. Bob Wells, the kind of guy to watch Hotel Erotica. I guarantee you Bob Wells a freak. I guarantee you. Yeah, real sex on HBO. I don't know, but I guarantee you Bob Wells got cum stains in his uh, Carhartt pants. Those Carhartt pants that he wear, I guarantee you got some crusty ones that haven't been to the laundry mat yet. All right, let's continue. We're getting off track. Uh, team vasectomy. Element van life is done. Yeah, guys. Now, I know he wants a family, he wants kids, but I, I, I've seen the look of crazy, okay? You guys can't tell me that. I've seen crazy, and I saw when Element Van Life, this is my opinion, when he was in Louisiana, home of his ex-girlfriend, and he told his new girlfriend that he wants to show her his favorite city, Louisiana. She knew that his ex-girlfriend lived there. You should have saw her look. She looked like this. Guys... And the other time I saw that look is when Element Van Life said, I think I'll be on the East Coast for a while. I'm not really feeling going back to San Francisco. And his new girlfriend, all her family from San Francisco. You think she's not going to go back to see her mom anytime soon? I see her look like this. Guys, I'm trying to tell you, your life can, you ain't getting ahead when you got someone in your life, they look at you like this. Because you, you got to watch your back. You can't get ahead when you got to watch your back. Hell no. Guys, I'm dropping jewels, okay? I'm paying for his membership every time one live chat. You are not going to get ahead 
with a toxic relationship or someone who ain't 100% on your page and there ain't no one 100% on your page. You're going to be building a pool in the back of your house in New Jersey and you can only swim in that pool for about two weeks out of the year and you ain't even going to swim that. You ain't going to be getting ahead. You can become the vice president, the CEO. You got to be the 1% top owner to get ahead from bad decisions. You got to be very careful. Uh, let's continue. Uh, oh, yeah. Team Vasectomy called it. Yeah, she's going to drag him back to Cali, in my opinion. Team Vasectomy. T.D. Jakes ain't fat. He's pregnant. I don't know. I know. I think his son is gay. So that's another thing. Like, you know, guys, T.D. Jakes' son gay. Uh, guys, everyone have a sex, man. Come on, man. Sur uh, surfing minimalist. I do disagree with Fab. Uh, he goes, I used to think it was fine, but I've been... 10 years, no fab, 10 years, no masturbation. And it changed my life. Wow, you got to break this down. No depression, anxiety, etc. cetera. To each their own. Surfing minimalist, you got to break this down. Surfing minimalist, please, I hope you're still in the slot chat. Are you telling me for 10 years you've never masturbated? Please, I'm, I'm going to, uh, please leave a comment. And then if you haven't masturbated in 10 years... Have you had a wet dream? Uh, that's it. Now, to each their own. I agree with that. But that's a powerful statement. I don't know anyone who hasn't orgasmed in 10 years. Surfing minimalist. No, sir. It's crazy as hell. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to say I'm in a twilight zone. I'm in Alaska with MVRV and they came to town. It's crazy. Nah. Whew, guys, we almost went wild. I, 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 anyone in the live chat, young, old, or Ed Sherman old, if you haven't mastered, or if you haven't had an orgasm in 10 years, please leave a comment in the members only chat because I don't know how that would even be possible. Uh, surfing minimalists. Well, I, yeah, here we go. Well, I've had sex since then, but no masturbation. Wow. Come on, man. That don't count, man. <laughs> that don't count. But I imagine, <laughs> I, I think sex will destroy your life more than masturbation. But why are we talking about sex and masturbation when the title of it is how to get ahead? Because if you think what your head, you ain't going to get ahead. And relationships, whether you're a man or female, they drag you down. Are there some good, healthy relationships? Yeah, probably. Uh, not that likely, though. Not the average. And the bottom line is your income has to be greater than expenses. The bottom line is the more people in your life, the more expenses. The bottom line is when a company is looking to save money, the first thing they would do is reduce headcount. They lay off people. That's what you should do in your life. The bottom line is if you're just living to get by, eventually an emergency comes and then you're going to get left behind. So become aware, become conscious of your decisions. Do whatever you want, like like Surfing Minimalist said, to each their own. I totally agree with that. I'm just, you know, I'm just sharing my view on this. But, you know, give us some thought, guys, because for me, I, I don't want to be trapped. Uh, Team Vasectomy, if you don't fab, does that stand for masturbation, fap? If you don't fap, you're focusing yourself to depend on another person to handle your reproductive system. I agree with that. I'm an independent soul, guys. I ain't saying this life's for everyone. But I guess I'm making videos to express myself. Because I know this ain't going to get a lot of views, per se. You know, how many people want to... You know, but I, you know, guys, look. We can give all the fancy camping gear. You can get 2,000 kilowatts of solar. You can get a Class B $100,000 RV. Or you can live in a beat-up Volvo. But don't you ain't going to get ahead... If you are led by emotions and hormones, if you're not aware of your budget, if you're not realizing your income has to be greater than expenses, and you don't want to just get by, you want to get ahead. At least for me, that's what, what I feel. Uh, Team Vasectomy says, I haven't had an orgasm since midnight. Well, every 24 hours, I think a healthy male needs a reset. A female, it may be longer. Uh, cause I know females tend to be a little bit uh, less in that mode, but I still think the coochie should get wet at least once a month. You know, again, it's like, I'm not saying a woman should, you know, be pulled over at a rest area, masturbating every day, like a man, 
But I think a woman should get wet at least once a month. Okay, and I don't mean taking a shower in the back of a truck stop. I mean, you know, juicing your body up. I think that's healthy. I think sweat releases toxins. And I think orgasm releases stress. I think it's good for you in a healthy, controlled, respectful way. Love yourself. Turn yourself on. I'll tell you right now, put on the good panties for yourself. That's what I'll tell you. All right, guys and girls and all you gay, spiteful people that are mad at me because I want to get with you. Hit the thumbs down. Good job. <laughs> They'll never win. I can't, you, you can't help yourself. But I'll tell you right now, guys, you're responsible for your own happiness. You're responsible for your own budget as an adult. And if you can't handle that, then someone else is going to handle it for you. And if you think someone else has a better plan for your life than you do, <laughs> welcome to Ed Sherman world. What world is that? Where a guy sings to old women to make money off of it, but then you never see him at the nursing home. I never saw Ed Sherman at the nursing home. Never saw him there. Okay. And I've been there a few times. Uh, surfing minimals. Ha I'm taking off. Have a good one, guys. Love to you, brother. All right, guys, girls, everyone out there, God bless.